Stop running down the meh and mundane hallways of life and tap into the magical. My name is Michelle Shutter. I am a life and leadership coach for women and host of the Life Coaching Classroom podcast. I'd like to welcome you to Life Coaching Classroom where we walk with you in the hallways of life so you can align to the beautiful expansiveness of your true self through reconnection, reinvention, and rejuvenation. I'm so glad you're here. Welcome to class. Hey, welcome back to this week's episode, episode 52, being productive in procrastination. Ooh, so juicy, right? Ready to dive in? Well, before we do that, I want to welcome you and again, acknowledge you for covering some time out to invest in yourself. Whether you are catching this on video or audio, congratulations, because it is here in the Life Coaching Classroom on the Life Coaching Classroom podcast that we move out of the meh the mundane and mediocrity and move into the magical of life. So welcome if you are the first time listener. My name is Michelle Shutter. I am a life and leadership coach for women. And if you are a returning guest, welcome. I am so glad that you are here. You know, let's move right into being productive in procrastination because let's face it, we've all procrastinated at one point or another in our life, okay? Let's get honest. You know, we do it because we avoid, we want to avoid something. We're putting those not so fun tasks, you know, to the side. Oh, we'll get to that later. Or, you know, we might look at it, the the task at hand and be like, yeah, that's just not a good use of my time. I want to do this instead. But really what it boils down to is we procrastinate because we perceive some kind of pain. It doesn't mean a physical pain in some sense, but it is something that, isn't comfortable to us. So it is a perceived pain. And behind that, perhaps, you know, there's a a fear of some sort, or there's a stress of some sort, or just that that perception of it's going to be uncomfortable. And uncomfortable even is a pain in our mind. And our mind wants to connect this current event, this current task with something in the past, because when it can do that, it's like, okay, like this is the safety zone, right? So if we avoid this task, we'll be in that safety zone. And procrastination, again, we don't necessarily have to determine if it's good or bad, but for most of us, we say that it's bad, but yet at the same hand, We have created our identity to be a procrastinator. Like how many times have you heard people say, and maybe this is even you, maybe you say this, ah, I procrastinate on this, or I'm good and waiting to the last minute and then I can just crank it out. And so we engage in that procrastination up until that very last minute, that very last second. Well, I want you to think about what happens to your body when you engage in that type of identity, that type of belief, because your cortisol starts to spike, because you're putting undue stress on yourself, your adrenals start to fatigue. It just is overall isn't healthy for your body. Your heart at times will race because you're getting close to that deadline and What I want to do is I want to put a spin on procrastination in this episode so that we can be productive when we're in the state of procrastination and make procrastination work for us rather than against us. Now, when you don't want to do something, you have two choices, right? Like you can either avoid it or you can push through it. So again, I'm using just a task at hand that you generally procrastinate on. So either we avoid it or we're like, okay, we're going to push through through it, push through it. Those are typical choices that people make. Here's what happens when we push through it, when we use that force, that grind, and it, it just doesn't end up working for your greatest good. That energy, that vibrational energy of force of grind ends up to be very emotionally, mentally, and physically taxing for you. It is like you are trying to up to swim upstream in a very strong current. It's like you get frustrated, right? You get overwhelmed. Um, you want to get out of the stream in some cases. But for many times, though, when we're in the midst of procrastination, we don't even want to get out of the stream. We just want to fight it. We want to buck the current. 
And when we take action from a place of force, from a place of grind, from a place of hustle, we are out of alignment. And when we are out of alignment, as I turn the page here, and when we are out of alignment, things do not work out for our greatest good. And to be more productive in procrastination, here's what we have to do. We have to tap into inspiration. And we have to be inspired in some way with the task at hand. Now you might think, oh, cleaning, right? Like that is just not inspiring to me. So I'm going to procrastinate on it. Well, your job is to look for, okay, what inspires me with a clean house? Like tap into the end result of it almost. The the inspiration, the the feeling, the goodness that comes out of achieving that end result. The one thing we have to realize though is like, let's not take action until we feel inspired because procrastination can't exist in inspiration. So if we are going to make a step, take an action step, and we don't feel inspired, we're going to be right back to where we were. And we're going to generate those feelings of um, just resentment and frustration and stress that just don't serve our overall being. So get your energy right first, then take action. Let me say that again. Get your energy right first, then take action. Now, this doesn't mean that you lay around and you wait for the heavens to open and the gate, the the gates are open, the light comes flooding down and pouring light all over you. No, that isn't the case at all. You have to do the work, okay? As as simple as it is, this is what people procrastinate on the most. You have to examine your thoughts and your feelings, which prelude your actions. And I have a tool for you for that. And if that is something you're interested in, it's called the magic of reinvention. And in this case, you are reinventing your beliefs about procrastination. You are moving into that inspired state. And if you want access to that tool, you can head on over to lifecoachingclassroom.com forward slash library. I believe it's the first tool listed there as you scroll down. But regardless If your dominant intent is inspiration, you will pick thoughts and feelings and actions that support that. And so instead of swimming upstream, you now have turned yourself around and you are swimming downstream. You're flowing with the current and everything aligns with you at such a higher level. It's for your greater good. So, If you want to be productive in procrastination, what do you have to do? That's right. You have to tap into inspiration. Inspiration. Let's get rid of the procrastination or let's use it as a tool to identify what we want, what we don't want. And let's move into a state of being productive from a place of inspiration. Now, I want to give you just a little heads up here. 2023 is not far away. I'm recording this episode on December 2nd. So we are, you know, on the final countdown here in 2022 and moving into 2023. 2023 is going to be a year for you to expand your fulfillment, to create expansiveness through a leap of faith. However, the majority of people... Are, it's going to be a year of procrastination for you because they're not ready to take a leap of faith. They're not ready to take that risk. And so as 2022 closes out and 2023 opens up, you have to make that decision. Are you going to step into experiencing expanded fulfillment or are you going to experience 2023 the majority of the time in procrastination. So as you think about that, I have a question for you. You know, would you be opposed to learning about how to tap into the energy of each month so that you can fully experience the 2023 expansiveness? Would you be opposed to that? 
If you answered no, you are in luck because what I have done is I have created the Experience 2023 Expansiveness where I have laid out every single month and the energy that is available to you that month along with challenges that will creep in to support you in creating awareness and tapping into that expansive fulfillment that you are seeking. If that is something you are interested in, this free download is available at lifecoachingclassroom.com forward slash library. I believe it's the second one there. And again, for you to be able to have this guide, this tool in front of you to see what the different energies are throughout the whole year and the challenges, hmm, I have a tendency to believe that you are going to then move into a more inspired state, be more productive, and experience that fulfillment, the the expansiveness, the bringing together of the missing pieces that you have kind of dragged on and haven't brought closure to or haven't fully stepped into your full expansion. Like this tool is going to support you in so many ways. Again, you can get that at lifecoachingclassroom.com forward slash library. So what resonates with you in this episode? Are you typically a procrastinator? Do you typically find product being productive in your procrastination? Are you able to tap into inspiration or do you need some support around that? Make sure you send me a message or tag me in, on social media at Michelle Shutter. Let me know what resonates with you. And if you are ready to shift into that inspiration, just let me know. Shoot me a direct message. And don't forget to grab that uh, um, Experience 2023 Expansiveness Guide at lifecoachingclassroom.com forward slash library. I hope you have just an amazing day being amazing you and I will see you in class. Have you joined our monthly unit study? If not, you better head on over and reserve your seat at lifecoachingclassroom.com forward slash unit. The unit study gives you an opportunity to experience life coaching at no charge. Again, register and get all the details at lifecoachingclassroom.com forward slash unit. I do have a favor. Could you take a moment to share this podcast and life coaching classroom with your besties? Perhaps they too are tired of running down the meh and mundane hallways of life. Let's give them a little spark in their day. Finally, I'd be so grateful if you take a minute to review the podcast. The reviews definitely help to spread the podcast to more women. Thank you. I so appreciate you. And I will see you in class.